Hello and welcome to this OpenGL video on colouring objects. At the moment we've just been drawing triangles, squares, we've even gotten to drawing 3D objects such as cubes, but they are all white. That is the default colour that OpenGL renders your objects in. You want to add a bit of life to that and with colours you can easily do so. Colours are very easy to do, I'm going to demonstrate it on a triangle but the principle is exactly the same whether you're dealing with a quad, a triangle fan, a circle using something like a triangle fan, a cube, whatever. So the first thing that we are going to do is create a float array, gl float, I'm going to call this colour equals and what you want to do with this color float array is have three different colors or a total of nine technically we'll show you what we mean so we're going to put two five five zero 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 we'll explain in a moment what we're doing here zero 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 two five five so what we've got is nine different values but they are grouped into sets of three, aka RGB, red, green, blue. So the first set is on red, fully red, because it ranges between zero and 255. The next set is fully turned on for green. The final set is fully turned on for blue. If you wanted any particular color turned off, you just set it to zero. And if you want it in between to blend different colors together and make other colors, you just change it to a different value between zero and 255. Each one of these color values corresponds to a vertex. So the red corresponds to, actually that should be top center vertex let's just rename it. let's just sort that out so the red corresponds to the top vertex the which one is it the blue corresponds to the bottom left no actually that was green sorry rgb so green the blue corresponds to the bottom right before i actually add the color to our triangle i'm just going to run it so you can see what we've got, so we've got this white triangle, this will be red, this will be green, and this will be blue. And it'll be interesting to see what happens, because we're only setting each of the vertices to that colour, what happens to the rest of the shape. To start drawing colour, or to colour your object, you need to enable another client state. Just put gl, enable client state, gl underscore colour array. As with anything that you enable, make sure you disable it in the correct place. GL color array. And then finally, to actually assign the color to our object, after vertex pointer, just put GL color pointer for the size is free because we're dealing with RGB, so we have three pieces of data. For the type is gl underscore float for the stride is zero because we have one color value following the next color value and for the point i just put color like so we're actually ready to run this now so let's see what happens here we go we have our triangle it was that simple to color it it starts off as red green and blue and something interesting happens it actually interpolates the colors between the different vertices so it blends it together and we don't have to start calculating any of that ourselves thankfully because there will be a lot of pixels to calculate the individual colors for it does it automatically which is cool and it actually creates a really cool effect you've probably seen a triangle or a quad or a cube something similar to this this is a very famous open gl stepping stone when you're learning so you might be wondering how would i color this entire triangle red for example it's simple you set all the vertices to red so put that zero two five five and what this does even though it may try and interpolate it it's still just going to be red so now we have a red triangle let's just switch it back so let's just re run this 
and if you had a quad so you would have four vertices you would have four sets of RGB color values if you had a cube with significantly more vertices you would have an equal number of color values which have an RGB value assigned to it that's it there's nothing more to it than that if you have any questions regarding coloring or in OpenGL feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php there'll be a link in the description there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series if you like the video give it a thumbs up click that subscribe button and leave us a comment and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day